Now, what I would like to do is I am going to let's see. I will add Tiberium in the back and have the player spawns up more to the front with water in the middle and a bridge connecting them. So first let me add the water. In order to add water, you would click on the lake slash ocean tool and you would click one, two, three, four, and then back on the original. Now and then click on the select and move tool, which is this. It looks like a mouse cursor. Now anywhere within this box there is gonna be water. But the tricky thing is, is the water starts as a, at a certain depth, which is identified here, water height. Now, let's say the water is there. Now, no, no, we would see no water. Let's raise the height to 40. We would still see no water because the initial height of the map is 50, and that is under the height, initial height of the map. Let's say we add this to 60. Now, as you can tell, there is a weird water chunk that is awfully odd right there. And that is because it is on top of the height of the map and nothing is stopping it from appearing. Now, if, let's say I click on one of the edges and I'm going to lower this to 40, which is a, a great distance between the initial height of the map and what we want. So what I usually like to do is I like to set the water on the border of the whole map to cover the whole map and then any time I would like to add water I would just lower the ground to a certain height. Now some map, ma some map makers would not want to do that and so in some cases I would never want to do that that is only if I am creating like bridges that go under other bridges which I am not be I'm not doing in this map so now we have the water here it starts at a height of 40 and what we can use is we can use this tool to lower the ground to 40 so let us click take this. Actually, let's not use this tool because that just lowers it to 40. Let's use this tool, which lowers the ground slowly one by one. And let us reduce the effectancy per second. And so as you can see, we're lowering it. You can see water is appearing. For some reason, water is not appearing. Oh, the water will only appear after if you click on the mat and the editor if you click on the um, tool to make it appear. Now, let's see, there is a giant lake going through the map like that, and I will add a couple of bridges that connect those two lakes together. Now, this is going to be a tight map, but this, I guarantee you, this would be an entertaining map. Since I have made maps similar, and they were a blast. So let us lower this. As you can tell, you could see the water, and I'm not sure why it's not very clear. Oh, there we go. That is the water. As you can see, the water is right there. Now, th I feel like this is too close to the top. So what I'm going to do is I am going to lower this to, let's say, 30. And I am going to click on one of the edges. And it does not seem that it has low... Oh, I'm going to lower... Hmm. Let's see, let's put it at 20. Uh, that, 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 that's a better height in my opinion so let us leave the water like that now this is what we have in the map now let me add the player spawn right now and in order to add the player spawn you'd move to the, the item called waypoint tool or you could just click the hotkey W and now you have a waypoint tool now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add four player spawns it's a two versus two map as you recall so one two, three, four. Now, you do not have to correctly um, align them right now, but you could later on. And I would very, very, very deeply suggest doing that since it does make your map look a lot more professional. And in order to align it, let us add ground color and now we come to the coloring part and so in order to color you'd click on this there are two tools to color the ground this large t tile which since the whole ground is tiles and it's pixelated so you'd want to color it by the pixelation but it is not the, it is a pixel it's a pixelation of a group of colors for example let's see you click on the one 
by one pixelation. Now, if we move close enough, as you can see, this is this is just one pixel box, right? But if I click, there are more. It's it's a it's a box of the color, of the style. So it's a style pixel box weird thing. So for the ground color, we would want it to be dirt. No, no, no. Move. We want it to be dirt. And the reason I would say dirt is because we are under a valley, and under a valley you would not. Well, I would not find grass. I would find more like dirt. And let's see here. Let's use the big tile. There's that. There is this. There is this. Hmm. Oh, looks better. Move this to the side. Let's see. We have maybe this. This looks a lot better, but not better, if you know what I mean. I kind of like how this looks. So this looks nice. And a good color for the ground is a color that does not have an obvious repetition to it, but it, it, it does somewhat keep a constant type of form. As you can tell, this is more like a giant dirt field more than just that and my I made the first one of the first maps I made one of the colors I used was a hill a cliff color and my friend just could got pissed at me and he just could not play and the reason was is because he the, the color was a big obvious repetition and that color only was effect only had a good effect when the land when the land that it was coloring was stretched and I will show you what I mean when I color the hills. So I will not color the ocean floor because, well, well, let's color the ocean floor. I was not going to color, I was going to give it a different color, but you guys have changed my mind even though you have not. Which makes more sense than anyone can ever imagine. Okay, so yeah, let us color the background again here. So I'm just coloring the ground, but not the hill, because for the hill, we will use a cliff color and for us to use a cliff color we will scroll up double click on dirt and then cliff and click it and so let's what cliff color would we use to match a valley now I see this color kind of matches this but then this color goes uh, you'd want you want a good blend color let's, see, let's find cliff slash dirt or cliff dirt so cliff yellow zone cliff test cliff there's no cliff dirt for some odd reason. Uh, I believe that looks like a good color for the hill, so let us just color the hill like that. And as you can tell, this does not quite blend in with the bottom. And no, I don't like this cliff color. No. That looks more like a cliff to me. So I will use this cliff color. And even if it does not blend, we can always use similar blending colors and use the blend tool to make it even better. And as when I finish making this hill, I will show you exactly what I mean. No, no, I forgot a part there. Let's just lower this down. So, 
So back here and color the backs of this to make it better because if players move back on this, like if players change their camera view and move back here, they will see the back of the hill. So you do want to color the hill. And I don't suggest leaving any blank spots without color since it is very unpreferred by... Oh god, I, I clicked the mouse button which automatically zoomed me in uh, with a player view. Which is very... T player view is not a good view to create a map in. Especially for uh, this player view. And so I colored it. Now, as you can tell, there are a bunch of color gaps here. And uh, I, I, and I don't, I don't want to spend the time to go and look for the exact color that this is. So what I can do is I can use this eyedrop tool. And so I click on this. It automatically gives me the color that is the ground. And I can just click on the tile tool. And it will automatically wipe all that out. Now this flashing thing right there is the player spawn, so is this, but we have not clicked on this. And that is clicked on for a reason. So now you can tell the hill is weird and it is awfully odd. Now I would want to lower the hill even more from here. So now let's find a good blending color between this color and this color. So let you know the two places where I might find this color is either under dirt or under cliff. And I have looked under cliff and I have not found a good blending color. So it's dirt China. Let's see here. Let's hold on see if we can find any other. This looks closer. Now let's say you can have this here and then get another color, let's say the lighter one, this one looks better. So, you know, these three colors blend very well. And let's say I bring this, the blend tool, which is this box, click here, you can see it sort of blends. Not quite, never mind, take that back, it does not quite blend well, <laughs> but if I need to find a good blending color with this, so maybe we'll find a little cliff, maybe we are, our, our hopes are greater now, and we might find it under cliff, nope, that is the same color. Maybe this hopes. Hopes that are failures. These colors don't blend at oh wait a minute. No. No, I feel my my hopes have changed. And now I believe that we might not find any good blending colors. So I am just going to recolor this back to the original. And I am going to select this and try to make it move closer to the edge, as you might see right here. And then use the blend tool, which I have used earlier. You might have to use. So now this is all looks good. Now I can just click here and click on the click on the places I want to blend it to because this blends it by the type of height or something. I'm not sure how it does it, but let's see. 
da, 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 da. So it looks like it's all blent now, and this does not look. This looks pretty good. So this looks like a good map. 